down to the program. Checklist. Ten. Your ten fingers reach into the air. Nine. You wiggle your nine toes in anticipation. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention? They might be giants have just crash landed their glass bottom car into the control tower at Jim Baker International Airport. Eight. Already you've forgotten what you ate for dinner. A creeping numbness consumes you. This just in, the human egg has been sighted plummeting from the sky. Scientists standing by to assure us that nothing is wrong have already been found murdered in their laboratories. Seven! Seven members of the group, they might be giants, have quit the band over bitter disagreements about the introduction to tonight's show. Six! You begin to feel sick. Flash, Professor Psycho Fuckup, arrested and convicted of gate crashing the show tonight, has hung himself by his watch band in his prison cell. He is listed in perfect condition. Five! Your five senses swell as you realize that history is not being made tonight. Rather, it is being consumed by a creeping numbness standing next to you. Four! No one seems to know what this is for. Overturned tractor trailers rubbernecking bumper to bumper. Three! Only three seconds remain until They Might Be Giants hits the stage over and over again. Two! It's time to sit back and make way for the one band that can overcome the zero in their bank account. I don't mean to be the negative one, but you'd be negative two if it weren't for the fabulous show you're about to enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, make way for They Might Be Giants! <laughs> Thanks a lot. Good evening. Are you people ready to have a really good time? What I'm trying to say is, are, are you ready to have a fucking excellent time? Well, we're a little tired. This song comes to us from the tiny planet of Portugal. It's called Istanbul was Constantinople. Istanbul was Constantinople now. It's Istanbul and Constantinople been a long time gone. Constantinople now is church delight. I don't go at night. Every gal in Constantinople lives in Istanbul. Now Constantinople's so you a date. In Constantinople she'll be waiting in Istanbul. Even old New York was once New Amsterdam. Why they change it, I can't say. People just liked it better that way. So take me back to Constantinople. No, you can't go back to Constantinople. Been a long time gone. Constantinople, why did Constantinople get the worst? That's nobody's business but the church. Istanbul, even old New York was once New Amsterdam. Why they change it, I can't say. People just liked it better that way. No, you can't go back to Constantinople, been a long time gone. Constantinople, why did Constantinople get the work? That's nobody's business but the dirt. Istanbul! Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming to our show. Seems like there's an awful lot of you today. Okay. This song is the first song written by us. We are They Might Be Giants from Brooklyn, New York. And this song is called Put Your Hand Inside the Puppet Hat. <laughs>
Next slide. So this song is off our next record, which will be out within seconds, and it's called Purple Toupee. John Flansburg. Mr. John Lennon, ladies and gentlemen. We have a very special song now because this, this is our first time in New Orleans and our first time here and, and the heat is making us delirious. So we'd like to remind you that we've left out the music in the middle of this song so you can solo with us, the band, They Might Be Giants. We ask you to scream as if you're in hell. This is your sound check. Please scream as if you're in hell!
No, no, that was the scream as if you're in Houston. This is scream as if you're in hell! Where are the fun-loving people of New Orleans? Please scream as if you're in hell! Well, once again, there are those among you who are cheating yourselves out of a good time, but you still have a chance to make up for it. In the middle of this song, when we give you the universal symbol of rock, that's your cue to start screaming. Don't stop screaming until the end of the song. This song is called Hideaway Folk Family. It's a ballad. This song actually isn't really about God. It's just it just invokes the idea of God to make the point. And the song is called Kiss Me, Son of God. Love sees love's happiness, but happiness can't see that love is sad, that love is sad. Sadness is hanging there To show love somewhere Something needs a change They need a change Down need a crane Down need a crane To take the house even for her part To make it break It's gonna take A metal ball hung from the chain Down need a crane Down need a crane To 
special song we're going to do now. It's called Why Does the Sun Shine? It's sort of dedicated to the hotter portion of the United States. Appreciate it. of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees. Yo-ho, it's hot, the sun is not a place where we could live. But here on Earth, there'd be no life without the light it gives. We need its light, we need its heat, we need its energy. Without the sun, without a doubt, there'd be no you and me. The sun is a mass of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace, where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees. The sun is hot. The sun is so hot that everything on it is a gas. Aluminum, copper, iron, wood, and wheat. The sun is alive. If the sun were hollow, a million Earths would fit inside. And yet, it is only a medium-sized star. The sun is far away. It's about... 93 million miles away! That's why it looks so small. But even when it's out of sight, it shines both night and day. We need its heat, we need its light, the sunlight that we see. The sunlight comes from our own suns, atomic energy. Scientists have found that the sun is a huge, Atom-smashing machine! The heat and light from the sun are caused by the nuclear reaction between hydrogen, oxygen, lithium, helium, nitrogen, estrogen, nutrasweet, carbon, and 
The sun is a mass of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees. The sun, ladies and gentlemen, why does it shine? Why? Here's the song. This is another song from our uh, vast oeuvre. This song is called 32 Footsteps. Feathers in my brand new Indian headdress. Thirty-two new moons shining in thirty-two skies. What's the reason? Why'd you go? Where's my baby? I don't know. Thirty-two footsteps counting them as a thirty-two footstep. This next song sort of dwells on a universal theme. It's about falling in love, falling out of love, then finding that person and killing them. Surely this is something that everyone in this audience has experienced personally. This song is called I'll Sink Manhattan.
Thank you so much. One of those songs where you have to say thank you at the end or no one knows. We have. We've got a, a very special one minute and 20 second rock opera for you. This is a work in progress. It's called I Will Date the Girl from Venus for Science. Love songs, nothing but love songs. Listen, uh, this uh, next, this radio recording is in very discreet stereo, so we're gonna do something for the radio listeners especially. We're gonna divide the room in half. Everyone to the left of, of this part, everyone over here is the beginning of the car crash. Everybody over here is the end of the car crash. It goes in dead. quick succession. You wanna be what? Be the dead people. Okay, you can be the dead guy. You just be quiet. And. Um, Okay, everyone over here on the left, everyone on the left, 
go, and right over here go, bang, and the dead guy just remains completely quiet throughout. All right, so in quick succession, the car crash, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's do a more high-speed, high-tech kind of car crash. How about twice as loud, please? Okay, uh, tighten up the bang to the earth. In really quick succession. Okay. They have the time. craziest drivers down here. One more time, please. Once again. Okay. All right, we're going to do the 360 now. This is dangerous. Uh, you go, rrr, 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 and then they go bang, okay? In quick succession. And the dead man remains silent. Let's hear it for the dead Let's guy. Let's have a big round of applause for the dead guy over in the right-hand corner of the room. Feeling a little alienated, a little bit strange, and a little bit put down. We're sure he'll beat us up later. So, a fine band of young men. The replacements. No, we were not roadies for the replacements, as reported on the information source MTV. the kids were into that. Yeah. For you folks at home, John and I have lit our skin on fire. We're completely, everyone listening on the radio, we're in flames right now. And on come our close personal friends, the replacements, to put out the fire. Okay, well these are the hats that crush your brain, turn your forehead red, or blue. Make you think that George Bush is really quite a guy. Okay. Okay, that's a cheap shot. I'm sorry. But, but we like to say it over and over again. We say that at every show, actually, because we think George Bush is really quite a guy. Okay. All right. Oh, I see we have some young Republicans in the audience tonight. Well, listen, this song is called Shoehorn with Teeth, and it addresses the whole issue of, uh, oh, nothing. Bill? He wants to shoehorn the kind with teeth. People should get beat up for stating their beliefs. He wants to shoehorn the kind with teeth. Cause he knows there's no such thing He asks a girl if they can both sit in a chair But he doesn't get nervous, she's not really there He wants a shoehorn, the kind with teeth Cause he knows there's no such thing Tour the world in a heavy metal van But they run out of gas The plane can never land He wants a shoehorn, the kind with teeth People should get beat up for stating their beliefs. He wants to shoehorn the kind with teeth. Cause he knows there's no such thing. What's the sense in ever thinking about the tomb when you're much too busy returning to the womb? He wants to shoehorn the kind with teeth. People should get beat up for stating their beliefs. He wants to shoehorn the kind with teeth. Cause he knows there's no such thing. Thank you. was written by Mr. Led Zeppelin, and it's called Freebird. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 
our most fearful nemesis. It's the stick. Benevolent, but clinically insane. Omnipresent, yet alcoholic. This song, this song features the dead man. And of course, you, the audience, please put your hands up in the air and snap along to the beat laid down by master saxman, Mr. John Linnell. We need a little bit of organization and discipline here in the South. We tried this in San Francisco and all of a sudden, Beatniks from everywhere broke out. It's kind of scary. It really sounds much better when everyone's snapping. That means people beyond the fifth row. It's a small room. Please, see you all. Join us. This song is called Lie Still Little Bottle. The stick, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this is the name of our um, new single, which we're trying to uh, get everyone to listen to and like. And the name of the song is... She was a hotel detective! <laughs>
Secret, special, wonderful, odd kind of place that we like to call Cowtown. The song's in the key of D. Feel free to jam. anytime soon. This is our, our last, last song. song. Uh, we want to thank the folks up there for doing this thing with us. Those guys. W-T-U-L. And this is Don't Let's Start. So long. We'll be back soon.
lot. You've been a great audience. chord mix up. We're gonna get a real long chord for uh, distortion effects in just a second, but um, this song oh, is called number three. Okay. We're gonna do number three now. <laughs> the incredibly slick show by They Might Be Giants. And in just a moment, the song, which we like to call number three. There's only two songs in me And I just wrote the third Don't know where I got the inspiration Or how I wrote the words Spent my whole life just digging up My name is Shallow Grave For the two songs in me And the third one I just made Well, the fact is, you've been a great audience, and you've been helping us out, working really hard on all of these songs, but not hard enough, We heard I that guess. southern audiences were a little bit shy. We knew you, we had to draw out the southern audience just a little bit, so we figured out this sing-along song. Easy to sing because the melody is written on your spine. This song is called, And I Hope That I Get Old Before I Die. Relax, don't worry. People at home, if you just stare into your radio, you'll be able to see these big cards being held by Mr. Paul Westerberg. Let's have a big round of applause for Paul Westerberg, ladies and gentlemen. We can't believe you made it here. Thank you, you so much. For you folks at home, you'll just have to wish you were here. Okay, uh, we do the verses, you do the chorus, and uh, everybody jams at the end. Sometimes I feel like being whiskey And once in a while I feel like being dry But we're doomed and we're drowned by this feeling we surround So I hope that I get up before I die Oh, it's a long, long road they used to hang you soon I hope And I wonder why this has happened, why, why, why Think about the dirt that I'll be wearing for a shirt And I hope that I get old before I die Clear off the kitchen table, darling Around the kitchen table I must lie I'm just tired for my wife, sir, for the banquet of my life And I hope that I get old before I die I can only hear Paul singing, please Oh, louder, please, louder Oh, where are the men of New Orleans? Please sing loud. Oh, oh, have you 
no discipline, no guts. Oh, it's a long, long road they used to hang you to, and I hope, and I wonder why this has Why, why, why? And I think about the dirt that I'll be wearing for a trip, and I hope. We're going to do it quietly now because that seems to be the only thing that the people in this bar understand. That's quiet and solitude. Please. We're going to do it very quietly now. Flip the card slower. If you want to just move to the center of the room. Get away from that dead man over there. OK. I'm going to move the cards really slowly this time. And we're going to ask you all to sing very quietly. Sort of like bread in the mid-70s, laying all the way back into supreme mellowness. No, that's, that's too loud. Sort of church-like, please. Like the way you sing when you're with your parents in church. at the end. Let's, let's get through this in an orderly way. You were well, so restrained up until then. We really thought we had the perfect angelic audience. Please, what happened? Oh. Ladies, please, your beautiful angel voices. Oh. We'd like to remind you that we have t-shirts, records, tapes, and other fine They Might Be Giants products available right here at the front of the stage between these two monitor wedges in just a few moments.
guys are really great. I've got to prepare this. Hold on. We're going to start at the beginning now. This song is called Istanbul Was Constantinople. No, I'm just kidding. This song is from our, um, our debut LP, which you guys seem to dig so much. tell you and are we still doing this remote yeah. yes okay uh, I want to also mention to the folks at home who don't know they might be giants has a dial a song service <laughs> it's the number that you call is on the back of all our records and everything that we put out um, but I'll say it right now it's 718-387-6962 call anytime even right now except wait you can't because you're at a concert watching They Might Be Giants finish up their, uh, their evening. And it's free if you saw the ball. She's an angel. Thank you. I met someone at the dog show. She was holding my left arm. But everyone was acting normal, so I tried to look nonchalant. We both said, I really love you. The Shriners loaned us cars. We raced up and down the sidewalk 20,000 million times. Why did they send her over anyone else? How should I? I'm going to speak to the man in charge. The secretary says he's on another line. Can I hold for a long, long time? I found out she's an angel. I don't think she knows I do. I'm this. It might happen to me if anyone ever finds out. Why did they send her over anyone? I believe it's the next one on our rocket scientist lab coat tape. And it is also off our first record. And this song is keeping the northern interpretation of Southern Rock alive. This song is written by my father, Mr. Earl Flansburg, and it's called Alienations for the Rich, and I'm Feeling Poorer Every Day. <laughs> 